We have another Kill Team homebrew today, and these are the ultimate Nicolas Cage cosplayers. That's right, Legion of the Damned. So this chapter doesn't really have lore, it more has theories behind it. So no one really knows exactly what they are. They always show up just out of nowhere when the Imperium is in grave danger. They appear from nothingness, they slaughter the enemies in the Imperium, and then they just vanish. They're space marines who are engulfed in flames, wear entirely black, and have a bunch of skulls and flames like true edgelords. As far as combat abilities, they're almost ghostly where attacks will just phase through them, they can walk through objects. Their bolters fire a flaming projectile that will just go through armor like it's not there. So they're an absolute menace in combat. So obviously, they're not just a normal Space Marine chapter that's waiting on a ship somewhere, gets called in by the Imperium, and shows up to fight. So here's my two favorite theories on where the Legion the Damned actually comes from. Alright, so theory number one is that they're the Lost Firehawk chapter. So this is a chapter that got lost in the warp at some point, and because of this, the members of the chapter got basically a warp infection that's slowly making them go insane and slowly killing them. But while this is happening, they get crazy warp powers. So that's why they can teleport in and out of the Immaterium without issue. That's why they have these flaming weapons. That's why attacks can phase through them. They're barely tied to reality at this point. So the only thing that is keeping the Firehawks tied to reality is their sheer desire to kill heretics and Xenos. Just that hatred alone is keeping them tied to the material plane long enough to slaughter people and then disappear. So they will eventually die. If that theory is true, the Legion the Damned will eventually just die off on their own. So the other theory is the one that I like even more. There's no evidence of this, but it would be awesome if it's true. So you know how Korn has his blood letters and the different Chaos Gods have their little minions. Well, the theory is that the Emperor on the Golden Throne, who's having Psykers sacrifice to him every day, is actually approaching Godhood. Like, I know he's called the God Emperor of Mankind, but all of those Psykers being sacrificed to him is actually giving him Godhood status. And because of that, he's actually getting his own minions, like his own demons. But these are the Legion of the Damned. So they are actually controlled by the Emperor in a manifestation of his will. So he's overwatching the Imperium of Man, that's his domain. And whenever it's in danger, they will show up and destroy the threats to it. So this is limited, how the Chaos Demons are not everywhere all at once. The Legion of the Damned can't be everywhere all at once. So they only show up when they're needed. But this Legion literally being a manifestation of the will of the Emperor is an awesome theory. So now let's look through the actual rules I made for the Legion of the Damned. So the base of this will be Tactical Marines. Because the Legion of the Damned are Firstborn Marines, so I wanted to copy their stat lines for the most part. You'll have access to Seek and Destroy and Infiltrator for TAC Ops. And for model choices, you have a Sergeant as the Leader, Warriors, Gunner, Heavy Gunner, and a fighter. We'll look at the weapons as we go through each individual model choice. And just so you all know where the naming comes from, the Legion they Dam used to be an actual chapter you could play in 40k, and their base troops were called Damned Legionaries, so that's what I used here. I normally would have just used Legionary, but that's probably been taken in Kill Team, so I went with this instead. Starting off with the Standard Warrior, your Bolter does fire flaming projectiles, that will go through armor, so I gave it AP1. And every model will have a 5 up interval save. Looking at the gunner, you have access to an improved flamer that's similar to a warp flamer. Because these are made of warp infused flames, I thought it should be more powerful than a standard flamer. The heavy gunner can either run a heavy spectral bolter, which just has plain AP1 instead of P1, then the fighter has his infernal blade, which is a pretty decent melee weapon, but it has a unique ability called Unstoppable Flame, which means when you roll crits in melee combat, you immediately deal two mortal wounds. 
this is a show that if you are fighting someone with a flame weapon, you are going to get burnt no matter what. And finally, the sergeant has the improved flame weapon, the spectral bolt weapons with AP1, and also a note for that, that means the combi weapons are better because instead of a normal bolter, the other half is a spectral bolter. Now to look at the ploys. So hard part of this was they're supposed to basically be unkillable, unstoppable phantoms on the battlefield, which doesn't exactly scream balance. So what I attempted to do was make them have that feel while still being balanced with other kill teams that we have. The first ploy is supposed to show that they aren't mortal and is in death, duty does not end. This is a two CP ploy, but whenever a Legion of the Damned operative is incapacitated, instead set them aside and return them to the battlefield in your deployment zone at the end of the turning point. So thematically, you can't stop the attack from the Legion. But in game, that's a lot of CP and you have to time it right to make it work. And your opponent will know you're using it. So they may just choose to leave operatives with almost no HP instead. Also, this does not stop TAC Ops. They still count as killed for the sake of secondary missions and any other effect that triggers when an operative becomes incapacitated. So their other strategic ploys are pretty simple. It's just Shock Assault and Bolter Discipline. These are iconic for the Space Marine teams, so they had to be in there. The Legion had both of these in their 40k rules, and I thought both fit the team pretty well. For tactical ploys, the first one is Spectral Walk, which basically lets a model phase through walls, so it turns him into a Breacher Boy. Next up we have Flaming Projectiles. This basically gives their flaming ammo the no cover special ability. Then we have another one that comes from their old 40k rules, which was Berserker Death Spasm. Which means when a Legion the Damn operative is incapacitated, you can spend 1 CP to deal 2 mortal wounds to everything within 1 inch of that operative. And finally we have They Show No No Fear, which is the normal Space Marine ploy that allows you to ignore negative APL and injured. Looking at equipment, we'll start with Warp Tainted Armor. Because this armor has formed in the warp, it makes the wearer resistant to being targeted by Psyker abilities. You can only take one of these, because if you're facing something like Warp Coven, that would just be overpowered to load up half your team with this. It would just be too much of a counterplay in my opinion. We also have the Lost Chapter Relic. This allows you to negate 4 damage from a single attack once per battle. And then we have Phantom Armor. This basically allows you to spend 1 AP to give the equipped operative a 5 up fill no pain. So basically disgustingly resilient. The concept I had here was I wanted it to replicate how sometimes attacks will just phase through them like they're not even there. And finally, from the normal Space Marine Compendium team, we have Crack Grenades, Frag Grenades, and an Auspex. So that covers the rules. For modeling, you could just use any First More Marine. In lore, they do use a lot of older armor and weapons. So if you want to get some of the Horus Heresy models and paint them black and make them all edgy with bones and flames, that would work great too. What you could do, and this would be the easiest way, was get that Skulls kit that Games Workshop sells, where it's just the giant boss of Skulls, and use those on top of the model and set in the head, and then under it paint like there's flames, or make flames with green stuff if you know how to do that. And the nice thing with that is you have all the extra Skulls for either your basing or to take bones and add it onto their armor, just to really give them the feel of the Legion of the Damned. So I wanted to end this video with a little behind the scenes of kind of where I got my idea from for this and how I came up with the rules. So a lot of this came from the Battle Brothers tabletop discord. Somebody over there recommended it and a lot of people jumped in with some really cool ideas and I tried to implement a lot of that here. So besides that and watching basically every lore video on YouTube about them, what I did is I actually found a document that was an old legacy document of the Legion of the Damned rules from 40k when they were a legal team you could play there. So what I did is I went through and anything that felt very unique to them, I would pull that rule over and basically twist it and make it into a kill team rule. So if you want to try this team out for yourself, I'll have a Google Drive link in the description. So totally free, feel free to download and play it. And if you do, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.